Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new today as you guys can see from the title it is going to be a Trader Joe's haul and I'm so excited I have not been to Trader Joe's in a very very long time because for a while the closest Trader Joe's to me was about an hour but now we just found one that's a little bit closer it's about I would say like 40 minutes away from us so me and my friend decided to go ahead and take a trip 40 minutes to go up to Trader Joe's and buy some stuff. I keep on watching everyone else's haul of all the fall and like seasonal stuff. So super excited. I'm gonna start off really quickly with all of like the frozen stuff so I can go ahead and put it back in the freezer. But the first thing I picked up was this asparagus risotto and this looks so good. So I think this will be great just for a side or like a quick lunch. So I got this and I don't know, it just looked really good. So I'm excited to try that out. Next, I have some organic jasmine rice. I love jasmine rice and I usually just buy it from my grocery store, which is Kroger, but I saw this one and it comes with three packs and they're 10 ounce packs. So I got that. Then I found some pumpkin waffles. So I've never really been a pumpkin spice type girl. I just never liked the taste of it, but recently I've been liking it. It's starting to grow on me, so decided to go ahead and get the pumpkin waffles, so hopefully I like that. Next, I found some butternut squash mac and cheese. The picture just looked so good. This is another great like side I can do for like dinner or even just for lunch, so I grabbed that. Next, I got some cauliflower gnocchi. Again, the picture just looked really good, and all this stuff is just like really good sides to have during the week, so I picked that up. Next, I picked up some of the famous mandarin orange chicken. I feel like everyone's always raving about this, so I'm really excited to see how this is. I figured we can have the... um orange chicken with some jasmine rice and that'll be like a really quick dinner one night. I also got some cauliflower pizza crust. I love cauliflower pizza. So I like the idea that I can just make it myself. It's pre-made um, crust, but you can put whatever toppings you want. So I grabbed that. And then the last frozen meal I got or frozen dish I got is this cheesy spaghetti squash casserole. Again, the picture just looks so good. So I'm super excited to try that out as well. Next, I just got some string cheese for the kids. The kids love string cheese. They go through it super quickly. And just a quick FYI, this is not like a Staples grocery haul. I've already went grocery shopping, so this is all just extra stuff that I picked up. So just to let you guys know. But anyways, I found this autumn harvest soup. It is a creamy tomato-based soup with pumpkin and butternut squash. Even though it's like 100 degrees here in Georgia still, I figured once it starts getting cooler out, this is gonna be so good to warm up for lunch or dinner. So I grabbed that. And then I also grabbed this Autumn Harvest Creamy Pasta Sauce. So you guys are gonna see, I got some um, pumpkin pasta and I figured this would go really well with it. So this is the fall zucchetti pasta, butternut squash, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. So it's just really cute, like little pumpkins. Again, it looked really good and I figured this together would be really good. Then I found this, I don't know if this is seasonal or if they have this like year round, but this one is Greek whole milk yogurt. It's apple caramel. And then this one is coconut milk, apple cinnamon yogurt. So I love to have yogurt as a dessert with like granola. So I grabbed those two to try out. Then I just picked up some minced garlic. Of course, I could not leave without picking up everything about bagel seasoning. It's amazing. The one I have now is almost out, so I needed a new one. Then I just picked up some feta cheese. I like to put this like on my salads. Also, I wanna try out the pumpkin spice coffee for my Keurig, so I just picked up one box of that. Now for like the little treats and snacks. I got these cinnamon apple snack sticks. These look amazing. I think the kids would like this as well for like a sweet treat. Talking about the kids, I also got them this, which I'm guessing is kind of like Oreos, but they are called Halloween Jojo cookies. So I figured they can have that like in their school lunch or just for like a treat after dinner. I also picked up these pumpkin cranberry crisps 
and I don't know, again, the picture just looked really good and I figured this would be good with like cream cheese or just regular cheese. I have a lot of hummus in my fridge from my girls night, so I thought hummus would go good with that as well. And then the last thing I picked up was just this strawberry licorice. My husband likes licorice, so I picked this up. Don't know if it's gonna be good, but it was only like $2 I grabbed that. So. That is going to be the last item I picked up from Trader Joe's. I'm so excited to try everything out. Let me know if you guys would like me to update you guys on everything that I tried or maybe in my next Trader Joe's haul, I can do kind of like a taste test as well for you guys. Let me know if you guys would like me to do that. But, all right guys, so that is going to end my Trader Joe's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe and turn on notification bell if you have not already. I would have loved to have you be a part of my YouTube family. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.